In the capital city, there is a major ship repair facility. Now, the plan is a private sector initiative to create a major one, even bigger than this one, in Labre. Now, this is great news for people in the oil and gas sector who have lost their jobs and for an economy struggling to diversify. By April this year, the Shipbuilding and Repair Development Company Limited is expected to break ground on the new Labre facility with a scheduled 2020 completion date. When completed, the dry dock facility should be twice the size of this one in Port of Spain. Now, with layoffs in Petrotrin and ArcelorMittal, CEO Wilfred de Gans has already seen hundreds of resumes for the construction as well as the operational phase. Employees who have built experience over the years in the oil and gas sector energy sector they have they're easily compatible with the ship repair industry the library project is um, comes at the right time for them to um, come across to the maritime industry it's a mostly private sector initiative but it is backed by the government with a 30 percent buy-in from china they put, with the approval of the government of china the chinese companies don't allowed to invest, take part of the risk, put part of the money in. You get part of the ownership, but then you have a requirement to bring some of your Chinese ships to the dry dock in Labrie. Degan says there will be employment during the construction phase, 40% local hires. He's taken all the necessary steps to avoid the hurdles of construction in the Labrie area. We had one or two um, persons who um, they felt somewhat entitled to be working on this project, but the maritime industry requires kill personnel. You have to have certification in order to qualify for a job. The Ministry of Labor has set up an office for applicants in the area as well. Now, if you apply directly with his company, a $100 fee goes towards placing your resume in a database accessed by 83 cluster companies. They've already met with environmentalists like Gary Abood and Wayne Kublal Singh and the communities who've all signed off hopefully paving the way for smooth sailing. Kijan Haynes, TV6 News.